Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys your daily or your weekend, hello, uh, your weekend message here for this coming Friday, Saturday and Sunday, May 26th, 27th and 28th, 2023. A lot of 20s. Uh, but that... Let's get into it here. Uh, have a great weekend, you guys. Be safe out there for sure. Just a quick reminder, I am accepting $5 Friday. I believe I was off. I think I said it in one of the last Friday's video that I was not going to be taking uh, $5 Friday the, that next weekend, you know, for this coming weekend. Uh, that it would be wrong. <laughs> uh, my son has his um, uh, ceremony for joining the Junior National Honor Society. Uh, that is on June 2nd. It is a Friday. Yay, I partially right there. Uh, but I got the wrong Friday. So it is June 2nd. Um, I will not, that Friday, I will not be doing $5 Friday. So if you have any questions, send them on in because it'll be uh, like two weeks until the next round of questions for that $5 Friday to take place. I will be taking off that Friday, June 2nd. For the boy, very excited. So let's look into what we need to know here for this weekend. May 26, May 26 was my mom's birthday. Happy birthday. I heard collaborating in the mind. Because there was lack of communication and now they want a new start. They do want a new change here. They want a definite change. They're making me add the four plus the ace, which is the five of pentacles here. Could be dealing with fire sign energy. They realize that they it, it was their mistake, I heard, as well as they want to show that action again to take that next step. Definitely dealing with the twin flame with that four of wands. Uh, they want that victory again after lack of communication. There we go. Uh, taking that next step, four of wands, to be successful after lack of communication, kind of settled of the mind because they were very much up in their head here, overthinking things. But the seven of cups is also known for making a decision in regards to love, and that is moving forward and settling the mind of their love, I just heard, with that six of swords and that four of swords energy. And healing the situation again. So the Four of Swords is definitely known for kind of healing their own. But it's really with that Six of Swords before that. The Four of Swords is healing the situation confirmed again by the star. Not just you are their wish fulfillment. But this is also known for healing energy as well. So they really want to work on things. Accept their love. Accept their apology here. They want to put in this work again. This weekend, yeah, definitely. They know that they were wrong and kind of dilly-dallying around in their head here. They saw this connection. Okay, so this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that this person knew that they had a strong connection with you. It was just them, logically speaking, uh, of saying that, hey, I don't know. I'm kind of in my head, which is making me overthink. And it's making me very confused as to what to do. And this is a prime story time moment. So High Priestess is known for intuition. My One of my favorite expressions is always believe in your intuition, your gut feeling. Always follow that intuition, okay? Whereas more information than I know about an upcoming private reading or, you know, a situation at hand, the more I use my logical thinking side. And I need to stop, you know, I don't, I don't like to do that. So I try to erase that out of my head and just go with my gut feeling, my intuition here. He did not, or they did not, this person. They were kind of up and down because they didn't know. The high priestess is known for one of the unknowns. So he did not know or she did not know what to do. Kind of up, tossed up in the air. Although they were looking right at a strong connection, spiritually dividedly guided relationship here but they were you know they should have went with their intuition instead they got into their head you know but I feel that now that they've settled they move forward with this knowledge of understanding their intuition and, and listening to it they've been able to settle their mind and heal their mind and exactly know what they want which is this wish which is you which is taking that next step 
and being, you know, you know, I just heard grateful for you here as well, but more so moving forward, being successful and breaking that barrier of the quietness of the ghosting, the lack of communication. I feel like they're not really sure whether or not you are going to accept them back because this is a kind of like a yes or no answer to this card. Uh, you cannot feel the love or you can accept the love, you know, kind of energy here. But definitely they're going to try and put it in. Again, feeling healed again with that eight plus the two, that's the 10. So they're totally balanced. They know what they want now, whereas before they did not. They didn't listen to their intuition, bottom line. So that is what I have for whomever this is meant for. Again, I am accepting uh, $5 Friday up until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please keep that in mind uh, when sending in your questions. Thanks again. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.